Hey there, everyone. Welcome to Dave White Chevrolet Football Friday. 15 games, fingers crossed, that we're going to get to tonight. Special thanks to Mother Nature for helping produce the show tonight. It's going to be a little dicey. We have some scores that aren't quite finals, some games postponed till tomorrow. We had a lot of storms out there tonight. We're going to do the best we can, but we start with a really good one. 2-0 against 2-0 Central Catholic at Perrysburg. Big test for the Jackets. Joe Nugent was at Steinecker Stadium. Dave, before the game, Perrysburg head coach Matt Kriegel joked with us that he played 12 men on defense. Obviously, he did not, but his boys deserve some credit. They did a good job against Central Catholic, especially in considering what they did in week one and week two, which is score 66 and 49 points. Coach Kriegel taking on his alma mater. Jackets hanging tough early. Irish going for it on a fourth and long. Deshaun Kaiser rolling out, and he can't escape the Jackets. Caden Llewellyn brings him down. Central's defense answers with an interception, sets up this 12-yard Amir Edwards touchdown, and breaks a 7-7 tie. Still a touchdown advantage in the third quarter. This from the 32. Kaiser up top to the big man, Keith Tolbridge. Seems all too simple. Irish up 21-7, and there's more. Edwards goes for 167 yards on 24 carries, four touchdowns. Central Catholic pulls away in the second half for a 35-7 win. We just came out. We had to turn it up after halftime. Our line blocked. All day, good, good. Keep Toe Bridge came in with the touchdown score. Everybody carried themselves tonight. Well, you know, he's a, he's a very punishing runner, but they can also take it from the house from 80 yards. He can catch and run. He's a complete running back. He's a great runner, a uh, great player. We're expecting that out of the senior this year. He's doing a great job of helping the younger guys behind him also. Amir can get it done. And this not the end of the road for Perrysburg and Central Catholic. They will play again next year and the year after. As far as this season goes, it is on to conference play. Central Catholic taking on Clay Perrysburg against Anthony Wayne. Dave, that's the story here from a wet Steinecker Stadium. Yeah, let's stick with one of the other track powers. Technically, the Whitmer Panthers are a member of the OHSAA. You wouldn't know it, though, based on the schedule they're playing early on in the season. Last week, a team from Detroit. This week, Bishop lures their powerhouse program from Indiana. First quarter, Whitmer going for the score. Nick Holly looking for Christopher Boykin, but it's picked off in the end zone. Wouldn't matter, though, because Whitmer's defense couldn't be stopped. Look at Marquise Moore, all 285 pounds of a burst and through the line to get the runner. Panthers only allow three points. They put up 20. Whitmer now 3-0 on the season. Mommy welcoming one of the most prestigious teams in Ohio, the Maslin Tigers. First quarter, Steve Doobie drops back to pass. He's picked off by Brody Taun. That Taun to Taun Taun Taun. Going the other way, 56 yards for the pick six. Maslin up 7-0. Next possession for the Panthers. This time, Doobie, he has his man. Dominic King makes a move, and it's off to the races. King finally pulled down. It would lead to this. Maumee facing a fourth and in inches. They give it to Andrew Schultz, powers his way into the end zone, but it's not enough. Maumee falls to a very good Maslin team, 34 to 12. Start on the road against Southview. First quarter, scoreless game. Austin Valdez, he's got legs, and he knows how to use them. Right up the middle, big gainer. Later on that drive, Damian Greisiger with the QB keeper. He sprawls across the goal line. Good effort. Cougars up 7-0. Now in the second quarter, Southview on the move once again. Valdez sweet toss to Tino Virgils. Led to another Cougar touchdown. They dominate. Score 38-6 at last check headed to a weather delay. Anthony Wayne against Otsego. Third quarter, Generals up a touchdown. Back to punt, but someone get Drake Johnson and Angioplasty. He's got some serious blockage. Ball gets slippery once it's in the end zone. Touchdown, though. Black Knights, they fall on it. Tied at 14. More from Otsego. Ryan Smoyer to Nate Halfport. But they missed the extra point. It's 2014 Black Knights. That extra point critical because AW responds. 52 yard bomb. Jake Reed to Eric Zelina. That's your game winner. Generals get it done. Final score 21 to 20. Play on the road at Wake on the brand new grass field at Mollenkopf Stadium. Eagles threatening Josh Pennington the snap. If it was touch football, he'd still get the score. Five yard scamper, Clay ahead. But on the ensuing kickoff, Saron Berenger back deep for the Indians. This kid a playmaker. Berenger up the sideline, brings it out to the 48, two yards shy of midfield. And on the next play, Berenger gets the ball on the pitch. But he's looking to throw it halfback pass to perfection. Tyler Slosky wide open, 52 yards. Indians fired up, but Clay's defense puts its foot down from there. Eagles roll to a 48-12 win. 
Rossford and Springfield, second quarter. Bulldogs up 21-14. Springfield facing a third down. Eric Cole, paper or plastic? Either way, it's a sack. So Rossford gets the ball back. This time, the Blue Devils bringing the pressure. It's Connor Crane. He gets to the quarterback, so it brings up a third and 15. But Rossford running the wheel route. Ian Stoller left wide open, and he's sprinting down the sideline. Looks like he scores. They would rule him out of bounds. That led to a field goal. Rossford wins 38-29. Bowser making the trip to Bobcats Stadium to take on Bowling Green. First quarter, it's scoreless. Andrew Dennis connects with Ryan Emmons. 15-yard scoring strike. Bcats up 7-0. Second quarter, BG fourth and inches. But look at the Rebels. Stand up and stop it. Wow, that's big. So back the other way we head. Just before the half, Bowser trying to get some points. Mac Jules pass looks good. But Quinn Donaldson gets a hand in there, pokes it away. Bowling Green tough on D tonight. They win 28-6. to Still plenty of games left. We've got a good one. Northwood against Hopewell Loudon. Stay with us. More Dave White Chevrolet football Friday straight ahead.